Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example from straight line graphs. Now this question has three sub questions. So let us start with the first part. A is the point 0, 4 and B is the point 8, 0. The line L1 is parallel to the x axis and the line L2 passes through the points A and B. Write down the equation of line L1. So we have to find out what is the equation of this line L1 which is passing through the point A. Now A is the point 0, 4 which means A is on the y axis. So let me write the coordinates here. This is going to be 0, 4 and B is lying on the x axis. So we can write it as 8, 0 as given in the question. Now to find out the equation of the line L1 it is given that it is parallel to the x axis. So here it passes through the point y equal to 4. So we can write the equation of the line L1 as y equal to 4 because this is the line which passes only through the point y equal to 4. So let us write over here equation of the line L1 is y equal to 4. Now let us look at the part B of this question. Find the equation of line L2 and give your answer in the standard form y equal to mx plus c. Now m represents the slope or gradient of the straight line and c represents the y-intercept. Now let us understand what is the slope and y-intercept for the line L2. So the slope or gradient is represented as m and it is represented as rise over run. Now rise represents the y axis or the y length of the given line. So let us write here y and run represents the x length of the given line. Now in this case since we are considering the line L2 the height of the line or where it crosses the A point is 4 with respect to the x axis. So we can take the rise as 4 and the run which is the length between the origin and the point B it is a length of 8. So we are going to write it as 8. And the next thing is finding out whether it is a positive gradient or a negative gradient. Now look at the line. You have to look from left moving to the right. Now the direction of the line moving from left to the right is downwards. So since it is going downwards the gradient is going to be negative. If the line was represented in this form that is from left to right if it was increasing then we were going to represent the gradient as positive. So in this case it is going to be negative. Let me just take it off. So here we get the gradient as a negative 1 over 2. So in this formula we can write y is equal to negative 1 over 2x plus c. Now C is the y-intercept which means we have to see the line L2 cuts the y-axis at which point. So we can see that the line L2 cuts the y-axis at point 4. So 4 is going to be our y-intercept. So let us substitute the value of C over here and write the C as 4. So this is the equation of the straight line L2. Now let us look at the next part of this question. C is the point 2, 3. The line L3 passes through C and is perpendicular to L2. Show that the equation of L3 is y equal to 2x minus 1. Now let us imagine that the point C which is 2, 3 so is probably over here. So let us mark here C that is 2, 3. And there is a line L3 which passes through C and is perpendicular to L2. And let us think that there is a line which passes through C and is perpendicular to L2. So I have marked over here. So this line let us give it a name as L3. Now we have to show that the equation of this line L3 is y equal to 2x minus 1. Now remember that if it is given that the lines are perpendicular then we have a condition for the perpendicular lines which is given as the slope of the two lines in this case the lines which are perpendicular is L2 and L3 
So the slope of line L2 multiplied with the slope of line L3 should be equal to negative 1. So this is the condition for any two lines which are perpendicular to each other. Now in part B of this question we had got the slope of the line L2 and it was negative 1 over 2. So let us come over here and substitute in place of the slope of L2 as negative 1 over 2 times the slope of line L3 is equal to negative 1. So we can cancel off the negatives from both the sides and 1 over 2 moves on the other side of equal to sign and becomes 2 over 1. So we can write here the slope of line L3 is given as 2 or 2 over 1. Now since we got the slope of line L3, let us find out what is the y-intercept of the given line. So before that let us put it in the standard form of a straight line. So y equal to mx plus c is the standard form of any straight line. And so here I am going to put y equal to slope we got it as 2x plus c. Now this is for the line L3. Now to find c we are going to make use of the point c through which the line L3 was passing. And the coordinates of that point c is 2 comma 3. So here we are going to take c which was 2 comma 3. So let us consider our x value as 2 here and y value as 3. So substituting the values of x and y in this equation we can write 3 is equal to 2 times 2 plus c or 3 is equal to 2 times 2 is 4 plus c. So rearranging we will take 4 on other side of equal to sign we get c equal to 3 minus 4 which is equal to negative 1. So let us substitute the value of c in this equation. We get it as y equal to 2x minus 1. So this is the equation of line L3 which we had to prove as given in the question. And we have proved using this condition of the perpendicular lines. Now let us move on to the last part of this question. L3 crosses the x-axis at point D. Find the length of CD. So in the previous question we had seen that the line L3 was perpendicular to L2. Now the same line extends and it passes through the x-axis and touches the x-axis at point D. Since it touches the x-axis the coordinates of point D are going to be x, 0. We do not know at what point the line touches the x-axis. So we are going to take the coordinates as x, 0. Now we have to find out what is the length of this small part between the points C and D. Since it is the same line L3 passing through point D, we can use the same equation of straight line for L3 which we had got in the previous case. That was y equal to 2x minus 1. Now let us find out the value of x at point D when the line passes through the point D. Now at point D we have taken the coordinates as x, 0. So let us substitute the value of y as 0 in this case. So 0 equal to 2x minus 1. So rearranging we get 2x equal to 1 or x equal to 1 over 2. So we got the x coordinate of d as 1 over 2. So let us write over here our d coordinate is 1 over 2 comma 0. Now since we have to find the length of cd we have the c coordinate as 2 comma 3 and we have the d coordinate as 1 over 2 comma 0. We are going to find out the length of cd by using the formula l equals square root of x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square. So this is the formula for finding the distance or length between two points. So let us consider our x1 as 2 in this case. So square root of 2 minus x2 we will take the d x coordinate. So it is 1 over 2 
the whole square plus y1 in this case is 3 minus y2 is 0 whole square. So, let us put up in the calculator and check how much we get. So, we have square root of 2 minus 1 over 2 is 0 0.5 whole square plus 3 minus 0 is 3 square. So, that will give us 3.354. So, I will take it to two decimal places and write it as 3.35. So, this is the length or the distance between the two points C and D. 3.35. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.